Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen. Today bringing you the Post Your Lock Screen competition winner announcement. Yes, that's right. Going through all those entries that have been submitted on our forum, we eventually came to a decision of who the winner should be. And the winner is, drum roll please, it is Patrick Martins with his lock screen Infolicious right over there. Yes, that's right. This lock screen simply blew us away. And the name says it all. It's got all the information that you can need on your lock screen just by looking down on it. It's got so much weather information that really helps if you don't want to have a cluttered home screen and the lock screen, all the colors that are involved are simply mind-blowing. You actually have a choice of six different colors that all fit the wallpaper quite nicely and they are simply quite amazing. I mean, everything in this lock screen is wow. It just blew me away. It's got a fantastic custom slider. That battery bar is like out of this world. I mean, all the little buttons for the missed call, the unread email is quite, quite amazing. So this is gonna be a video tutorial as well as we'll be recreating this lock screen for your Android phone. So without any further ado, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so to start this lock screen, you're only gonna be needing two apps. That's gonna be your UCCW as well as your widget locker. And you might as well need a file explorer. I recommend ES File Explorer just because it's very easy to use and quite customizable. Great, so once you've copied the necessary files onto your phone, you've got a choice of colors, or you can just simply copy all the colors onto your phone. It'll come in a zip format, so you're gonna want it to be unzipping it onto your phone just so it's in a folder format. Once it is in the folder format, you're gonna be opening up the folder, and it comes with three files that you'll need. It'll be the two UZIPs as well as the widget locker theme. Now this widget locker theme is quite important and there's something that you wanna be doing with it. You wanna hold down on it and you wanna select copy or cut and now you wanna be pasting it into the widget locker folder. And you're gonna find that if you go back and you go into your data and then you select the one that's com.testacoil.widgetlocker. You're gonna go into that, go into your themes and then paste it here with all the other themes that come with widget locker. You don't have to unzip it or anything. You want to leave it in that form. So it's going to basically be added onto widget locker already as soon as you go into it. And that's pretty much the setup that you're going to be needing. So next we'll be moving on to the widget locker setup. Great. So widget locker is a very easy app to use, but don't worry. We still have the complete guide for this amazing app. I'll put it in the description below. And to start off, you simply want to just tap the icon in the app drawer and it'll bring up your widget locker. Now, if you have any widgets already on, on your widget locker or you just started it, you want to delete the widgets that are on the screen. So you want to hold down on them and just drag them into the bin below. Quite easy to do. Or just hold down and say select, hold down and say remove and that gets rid of it as well. Next, what we want to be going to do is changing our wallpaper and layout. And to do that, you want to select your settings. First, we're going to be going into our look and feel, and you want to select alternative wallpaper if you haven't already. This will enable you to just change the wallpaper for or get you that nice leafy tree background that looks really good. So make sure that you've copied it onto your phone. You want to be going into your gallery or wherever, whatever app suits you, and then you just want to go and select the wallpaper. Now, what's great about it is that you don't have to resize this to make it fit your phone. You can pretty much put it wherever you want and then just say save and this will set the wallpaper for you. You don't have to worry about wallpaper resizing at all. Background tint, not too important, but the layout is quite important. Now the author recommended a 10 by six for his Galaxy S3, but I did find that the 12 by eight works well for a Nexus 4. So depending on your phone, this grid size is gonna be a little bit different as your UCCW widgets and your custom slider are gonna have to fit in accordingly. But don't worry, you should be able to fiddle around with that and make one fit. Next, what you wanna do in your layout is to hide or enable the hide notification bar. That's the one at the top right here. It just hides it so you don't have to see it. From here, you just wanna go back. And one thing you might need if you're going to advanced is to select widget overlap. That will enable you to overlap your UCCW widgets just in case some problems occur. So it's always a good thing to have. Next, you wanna go back. And that is our pretty much our widget locker settings set up. If we go back again, now we'll be able to add in our custom slider as well as our UCCW widgets. Great, so to add in, first we're gonna be adding in our UCCW widgets. You're gonna be holding down, selecting widgets, and then scrolling all the way to the bottom and selecting UCCW, 
and as always it doesn't really matter what size you choose as you're going to be resizing it anyway so i went for a three by three you want to select use up as you're going to be importing those use ups if you don't know too sure how to use uccw don't worry we've got a complete guide to this as well so what you want to do is go into that folder that you copied onto your phone remember the one that i showed you earlier and it's got those two use zips don't worry you don't have to unzip them or anything you just need to select them once you're in the uccw area here doesn't really matter which you're going to choose for i'm going to choose the sphere so once you select it you're going to just tap the hand and there it is now all you have to do is hold down on it select resize and get it into a nice little size for you like that going to be doing the exact same for the info widget beneath it it's called the noti bar quite a cool name and you want to do the exact same thing you want to select resize and that's pretty much it if you don't like the way it is you're welcome to change the grid size to get it in a different position now one thing you want to notice is that your gmail is going to be a bit off you want to select it make sure your hotspots mode is off or lock widget mode is off if not you have to go back out of widget locker go into your uccw in your app drawer select your menu and you want to select lock widgets and make sure that it's off otherwise you won't be able to edit your good looking uccw skin so once you make sure it's off and you've opened up the editor you want to select your background which will bring up your select object now from here you just want to select go scroll down and select gmail one and scroll across to your scroll your controls across you want to select your account and once you've selected your account you want to select your label i would like to go for inbox now you want to go back and make sure that it's set up correctly next what you want to do is go back into your editor go into your menu lock widgets on now you're welcome to add in your own hotspots mode if you don't know what hotspots are go check out the uccw tutorials so that is our uccw's set up next you're going to be moving on to the custom slider great so finally you want to set up your custom slider which really sets widget locker apart from any other lock screen and all you have to do is hold down on your home screen or your lock screen and select custom slider now because you've copied it into that folder into that widget locker folder it'll already be installed onto your themes here so you can see that orange one has been installed here you're just going to be selecting it don't have to change anything just select done now it's a bit too skinny there so you're just going to hold down on it select resize and get it into a position that you like so i'm going to be wanting it a little, a little bit lower down and that's pretty much it now all you have to do now is go back save you go back again now you lock your phone and unlocking it brings it up to you brings up this beautiful lock screen just like that you can easily see your time your day of the week the type of weather you want all your notifications your battery and finally this badass custom slider so thank you very much guys for watching this video tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already as well as check out our facebook google plus and twitter communities congratulations again to patrick martins for this amazing lock screen we're definitely going to be having more of these competitions in the near future but for now, this is Marco from My Color Screen, and most of all, don't stop customizing.